What is going on, guys? And welcome back to a spe or a new up upload of Star Wars: The Old Republic. This upload is going to be dedicated to the current new hyper crate that just came out this morning, the Dread Warlords Cartel Pack. Now, this cartel pack, this shit, the hyper crate, whatever you want to call it. In my personal opinion, and just before I continue, this is just going to be a little review uh, upload. This cartel pack was okay, to say the most. Um, we got Tithe-inspired armor, we got some new stuff, but today we're not going to be looking at those. We're going to be looking at a certain specific item. Today we're going to be looking at the decorations. So, and these are just my personal opinions upon the decorations. Uh, of course, you guys might have different views over them, but let's get started. Uh, the first decoration we're going to be reviewing is the Jedi War Table. Now, personally, I can I, I now understand why it's not required for a floor large. However, it should have been. Um, but I can understand it because of how fucking huge this thing is. I believe this is also the Jedi War Table in the Assault on Tython Flashpoint, if I'm correct. But, uh, anyway, there's nothing to really interact with anything on the table. Uh, the only thing that's actually pretty neat is little decorations here and there. So we got a little, uh, trainer's war staff here. We got a little walking stick, something Yoda would use, a little, uh, drinking cup, whatever you want to call those. And we also have a couple of books here and there that are just placed here for decorations. Uh, as you can see, a little... Kind of like a book journal, if you will, and then we got another one here, another little cup here. But there's really not much we can do with this, it's just here for decoration. Um, this Jedi War Table, you can actually donate this to the guild for 75,000 credits, and just to prove that as well, we'll go through here. And it should be under Furniture Arrangements, right there. You can purchase that for the guild for 75 thousand credits and unfortunately like I said it only requires for a uh, centerpiece so now what we're going to be looking at is the next uh, decoration I'm not going to be looking at all the decorations unfortunately because I did not get all of them uh, I only got a few things here and there I think I actually got about five decorations out of this cartel pack so the next one we're gonna be looking at is the Iocath arches and this one does require a floor centerpiece, and you can easily tell just by that why it requires a floor centerpiece is because how ginormous this thing is. Now, personally, me, I don't care about the Iocath arches that much at, at all. You cannot interact with anything over here. There's no control panel to activate any type of ray shield, nothing. To me, personally, it, it would have been nice if they had like a little control panel like on each arch, so you can just click something, say like right there, and a big uh, ratio will pop up, and then this part right here, the little side of it would be all ratio. It kind of like reminds you of uh, uh, the Phantom Menace during the Darth Maul versus Obi-Wan duel. That would be pretty cool if they could do that. Unfortunately, with this uh, decoration, it does come with a limit. Uh, if you will. I'm always having to go through my stronghold to do that. Uh, unfortunately, you cannot do donate this one to the guild. I can find it. There it is. Yeah, unfortunately, you cannot donate that at all to the guild. You cannot donate... I think there's only two things you can actually donate from this entire hypercrate, I believe, uh, decoration-wise, but I'm not entirely sure. So anyway, next up we're going to be looking at is the IOCATH uh, Computer Bank. Now this one, personally, is pretty neat looking. It's got the little IOCATH monitor droid here. Pretty decent, you know, but there's absolutely no, nothing you can activate on here whatsoever. It's just a little decoration display bank. To me, personally, if I had created this, or if I was at least, if I could at least add something to this, I would at least add like a little ability or some type of function to where you could press something, like press a little, uh, press like a little bar here or something and you could activate the GTN or you could activate your personal 
the cargo hold with this because that would make a little bit more sense, truthfully. So, moving on to the uh, second to last item that we currently, or that I currently got, anyway, is the, or was my favorite. Uh, it's not anymore, unfortunately, but you'll see why here in a minute. I'm actually going to put it here this time. We got Tice Font of Sacrifice. And personally, there is... That's just it. <laughs> it's disappointing to say the most. You cannot get burned by the fire at all. It's, this is literally all that it is. Uh, honestly, when I first heard about this and when I first saw this decoration, I would I was expecting like a big tithe statue to appear at least somewhere in the middle, but no, it's just a little... It's like the fountain of blood and fire. You just got skulls burning here and there and whatnot. It's not really anything decent. I mean... Other idiot people are going to try and put this up on the GTN for 40 to 50 million credits just because it's Tithe. That's, you, don't, you don't need another reason, it's just inspired by Tithe. So expect this decoration to cost a shit ton, which is really stupid because, truthfully guys, if anyone's watching this and if you guys have the Tithe font of sacrifice, if you have this, do not put it up on the GTN for fucking... 25 fucking 50 million because it is not worth that whatsoever you cannot activate any ability whatsoever on here it's just there for decoration on the other hand too you cannot donate this for the guild either none of these the iocath arch the iocath computer bank and the tithe font of sacrifice you cannot donate the only thing you can donate is a little jedi war table over here so moving on uh, we're actually going to go to my Droman Cost Stronghold, so I'll see you there in just a minute. And the last decoration that I've actually gotten out of this hyper crate was one that I was really happy to actually get, is the Iocath, or I'm sorry, the deactivated Iocath Combat Droid Personnel NPC. Unfortunately, this is hollow, so you, it's not a solid figure, unfortunately. But the only animation that it does is it twitches its arms and... Uh, hands, that's pretty much it. You can donate this to the guild for 25,000 credits, so it's not bad. Comes with a little assault cannon here, or whatever that is, but to me personally, I like it. It's pretty cool. Uh, definitely something that will more than likely go on the Manon Stronghold once we get it. And now I want to show you guys, actually, uh, something a little sneak peek, so give me one second. So here we've jumped to Im Imgur. I'm still having trouble pronouncing that, honestly. Imgur, whatever the fuck you want to pronounce it as. Uh, I have actually, before this cartel pack released, I found every decoration that was going to be in this cartel pack. So we're going to go straight through them real fast. So we got Ty's Font of Sacrifice. Not really worth it that much. We got the deactivated Iocath Combat Droid, which is actually pretty decent. Little NPC personnel. We got the Arrangement Jedi War Table, which is actually pretty decent decoration. I just really wish this was more of a floor large, so we could easily put it uh, wherever we want. We got the Iocath Computer Bank, not worth it. Uh, Fixer Upper Galactic Starfighter is one we did not get, and apparently that is a Starship Massive Structure and Starship Hook. So unfortunately I can't do my review on that because I did not get that one yet. Iocath Arch is not worth it. And we also got the game table, one that I did not get either, and this would be a floor large. I'm assuming this would have had some type of some type of uh, clickable ability you could activate something on, but more than likely it probably wasn't. And the Flesh Raider Camp, which was a centerpiece hook, honestly, just from judging by it, I honestly would say it'd be a decent kind of decoration. Uh, Iocath Hexlight, I actually did get this one. I forgot to place that in my stronghold, but uh, I haven't checked that out yet. But it's just a usual light, unfortunately, so there's no, nothing really uh, big about that. So that pretty much does it, however, for this little review. The Dread Warlords Cartel Pack is on sale today. It just released for 5,850 Cartel Coins for a Hyper Crate, which is overpricing it. And the only reason they're doing that is because of Tithe. I mean, come on. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that upload. If you did, leave a like, and I'll talk to you guys later.